Let's talk Tanya for the eighth of Av. In yesterday's Tanya, we explained that every single time we do a mitzvah, we're bringing down the infinite light of God, what's called the Er Makif, the transcendent light, into the finite system of the worlds. And then when we give tzedakah, some of that light actually trickles down over here into our world and translates into physical material blessings. The first part of the verse that we discussed yesterday was Vayilbash Tzedakah Kesirya and the God wears Tzedakah like armor, which we explained the reason why armor is because there are holes in the armor which allow some of the light to filter down over here into this world. The second part of the Pasuk is Vekoiva Yeshua Bereshai, which means a helmet of salvation is on his head. What does that mean? Dr. Rebbe says this is really a continuation. The second half of the verse is explaining, you might want to say, the root cause of the first part of the verse. Roshoi, God's head, that is a reference to Chachma. Chachma is the highest level of the system of the worlds. And what we need to do is bring Yeshua, salvation, into Chachma. What is salvation? So the word Yeshua is related to the word Vayisha. Vayisha means to turn, to turn towards someone. When you say that someone turns towards someone else, it doesn't mean a part of them turns. They turn in their entirety. We, need, we want to cause the infinite light of God to turn towards us and when the infinite light of God turns towards us, where is that bereshoi on the head, which is in Chachma, which is, again, that is the first, um, the first one of the attributes or the first uh, step or level within the system of worlds. Once that happens, then God, so to say, the infinite light of God has entered the worlds, and then we can have the first half of the verse, which is, Vayilbash Tzedakah Kesirian, through giving Tzedakah, we can cause some of that to filter down over here to us. With this, Dalter Rebbe explains that which we say in Davening. We say, Zeireat Tzedakahis, Matzmiach Yeshuais, which means that we plant tzedakah, and what do we harvest, or what grows, is Yeshuais, is salvation. In a deeper sense, that means that when we give tzedakah, we're planting. And then what grows is Yeshuais, salvations, but also means Yeshua, that God himself turns towards us, and some of that, some of the benefit we have all the way down here in this world over here. So once again, with this we've concluded the letter, the Alter Rebbe is encouraging his chassidim to give tzedakah, and what is the motivation? The motivation he's saying is every mitzvah that we do, we, 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 we bring in the infinite light of God into the system of worlds. There's only one mitzvah which we do, which not only does the infinite light of God enter the system of worlds, it enters our world. It manifests itself as physical blessing. But if you're a, a spiritual holy person, even more important to, to you than the material blessing that's caused by the infinite light is the fact that we're getting to experience that infinite light through giving tzedakah. That is how the Alter Rebbe is attempting to motivate his chassidim to give tzedakah. With that, we have concluded this letter. Tomorrow we will start chapter 4 of Vigaris another letter also on the topic of tzedakah.